Hi Keith uh, and hi everyone, thanks for the invite. Um, I know you all want sales and yes, social media marketing should would defi could definitely help you with that. The only problem with social media is sometimes it can take time for you to see results and uh, although it's great for raising the awareness and increasing number of inquiries, it's a long game. It's not something you can um, see re results r super quickly. So what, what I would advise you to do, if you're really looking to get um, get the sales now and get a, a results as soon as possible, I would encourage you to, you, um, to try social media advertising. Um, first of all, it's a good way to um, get results a lot quicker. And second of all, we've seen a decrease in the cost for, of pay-per-click and cost for t per thousand impressions across social media channels. So it's good time to actually um, try different adverts at the same time, see what works and um, see what doesn't. Um, and this way, when um, you'll be able to tell what exactly brings you, which advert brings you the best results. But again, the first thing I would say, definitely avoid boosting posts. I mean, boosting could be great if you're looking just for some extra engagement on your social media platform. But if you're looking to actually get sales, um, I would suggest to avoid boosting. The problem is with boosting that you get um, Facebook really encourages you to uh, spend three pounds there and three pounds here. But the problem is it adds up eventually um, and it doesn't give you all those benefits that actually Facebook advertising could give you. So, for example, um, if you suggest, if you think of advertising, I would advise you to set up business Facebook manager, which is free to set up. And in this platform, you can create all your ads, um, but it takes you through the process of actually creating a campaign. So first it will ask you what you want to achieve. Um, so, for example, it could be you want lead generation or you want to get extra messages, you want extra phone calls, um, you want people to find out where, where you are, where is your shop, for example, um, or extra traffic to the website. So there is a number of objectives there. So you can really think through what, uh, what is that you, that you want to achieve. Um, second of all, after you know, so for example, you want more traffic to your website, for example, let's say you have landing page, where people are encouraged to take an action. After that, it will ask you about your targeting. So on one hand, you can um, pick uh, people that you think um, would be interested in your business through demographics and the digital behaviors and interest. And a good way of um, finding that out, who exactly is your target audience, it's um, Facebook has a tool called Facebook Audience Insight. And so when you start putting um, information about your target audience, Facebook will suggest what that person is interested in, for example. So it's a good way to, um, to try at first to, um, that type of targeting um, to see how that performs. However, a very often a bit more effective way of um, of targeting on social media advert advertising is through custom and lookalike audiences. So custom audience, it's an audience that already interacted with your business. So it could be, for example, let's say if you have mailing list, um, you can upload that mailing data and then uh, Facebook would target those people on social media, which is great because as, as probably you've heard, someone has to um, see your brand uh, at least 30, 30 times before actually they decide to buy. So if you have, for example, someone on their email marketing, then someone sees your advert, then it's, it, it encourages uh, that person to, to go for your uh, marketing and sell, sales funnel. But another thing you could do, you could um, target those people who have also visited your website or engaged with your event or engaged with your social media. So it's a good way of um, interacting with your existing clients 
or maybe those people who aren't your clients yet, but they're thinking and maybe they, they haven't decided yet. So you can target them. It basically works like imagine if you're like going on a on a website to look for, let's say, shoes. And then you can go on Facebook and you say exactly those shoes following you around wherever you go online. This is basically what remarketing could do with custom audiences. Another uh, thing I've mentioned is uh, lookalike aud audiences. Um, this is basically works on, it's based on custom audiences. So Facebook will, based on the data you provide, um, Facebook will try to find people similar to those. So if you, for example, if you uploaded the list of all your existing clients, Facebook will try to find similar to them. And it could work really, really great because believe me, Facebook knows so much about you already. They pro probably have a good guess who could be your potential client. Um, so it's good to take, take advantage of that. Even a bit, maybe it seems a bit scary <laughs> at times. So, um, so once you do those targeting, and I would encourage people to do as many adverts as possible at the same time, you know, few, so you can really see what works, what doesn't. So you can compare which, which works better for your business, lookalike audience versus uh, traditional targeting, um, and just see what, what works the cheapest um, for you. Another aspect of creating an advert on Facebook, it's through um, budget. You can pick your own budget and it could be as little as three pounds a day. Um, again, it's good to start a bit lower and then when you really know what exactly works, what doesn't, then you would increase your budget and, um, and hopefully increase sales. After that, it's all about creative. So again, you would pick whether you want photo or video or those interactive carousel ads that you can sort of swap, um, depending on your, um, swap on Facebook, depending on your, on your industry and business. So there's a lot of tools there. So again, I would encourage people to really try uh, spend some time on so, play around with the with um, Facebook Business Manager and try different adverts, see what works, what doesn't. Um, so then you, it can be um, the most effective for you. Another thing I would suggest um, is looking at other uh, ways of advertising, which could speed up sort of the process of uh, getting sales at this time. I'm not... Um, Google Ads expert, um, but a lot of people ask me which one they should do, whether it's um, social media or uh, or Google Ads. I would say it's all about where your client is in your marketing funnel, because, for example, if you are looking to, um, let's say, if you're bored at home and um, you don't know what to do, and then, for example, on Facebook ad, uh, you'll see um, board games. And then you think, oh, actually, board game is a good idea. And then you would go to Google and you would type board games or online board games, whatever that would be. So as you can see, both advertising tools work great, but you catch, because you catch your customer at different, uh, a different time on their marketing um, funnel journey. Um, so social media advertising very often is great for, well, for, Great when people don't know exactly maybe what they want. They want to, um, so it's great for raising awareness of your business and your products and your services. It's great for remarketing as well. But if you, if people already know about you and they're ready to search and go to Google and find your website, then it's, I imagine Google Ads would be um, good, good for that as well. Um, so yeah, it, again, Social media is so, so powerful. So I would definitely suggest investing your time um, there. And it is a good time to invest in, in advertising because as I've said before, the cost, the cost went down um, as well. Um, if, you, if you have any questions regarding that, then you're hap I'm happy to answer any of them. You, you, can just drop me, you can just drop me my email. A lot of people also ask me about LinkedIn advertising or Twitter advertising. Um, they work pretty much the same as uh, Facebook and Instagram ads. The only difference is, um, for example, with LinkedIn, LinkedIn is quite a bit more expensive than Facebook. So 
if you're looking to for um to reach B2B clients, you should definitely try LinkedIn. However, um just bear in mind that it's a bit more expensive. So it would be better to put a bit higher budget um toward, towards your social media campaign. So there is so much uh, to talk about when it comes to advertising on social media. But the bottom line is, if you want immediate results, um, then organic social media might not be enough. Again, it depends. If you have really high engagement already on your social media, um, you can use tools, um, organic tools to, to help you achieve that, for example, like Facebook groups um, and so on. But if but if your engagement is not that great, especially, especially if you're starting from zero, you'll have to put some um, money towards uh, social media advertising to help you achieve your goals. But as I said, if you have any questions um, at any point, then I'm happy to answer them. Just drop me a line.